Et passe la le président. Vous voyez vous asseoir. On je vous remercie pour votre attention. Pour votre attention. Pour votre attention. Pour votre attention. Pour votre We hand over again the floor to the prosecution to continue la questioning the witness. You à may proceed. Pour l'interrogatoire du témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Le procureur. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I had finished uh, asking you uh, questions about the subject of uh, uh, pagodas and religion in Mondulkiri. And I wanted now to ask you a few more questions uh, about the subject of uh, cooperatives, uh, which is one of the subjects that you uh, testified uh, had been discussed by Pol Pot and Noon Chea at the three-day meeting in Phnom Penh you attended. Can you start by uh, telling us, telling the chamber, uh, what you recall Pol Pot or Noon Chea uh, saying uh, about the organization of cooperatives uh, at the three-day meeting you attended in Phnom Penh? Initially, he talked about the low level cooperative encompassing 30 to 40 families. Commence à parler des petites coopératives composées de 32 à 40 familles chacune. And uh, who is it that uh, was talking Question. about low-level cooperatives? Et qui parlait de ces petites coopératives? Response. Response. Mr. Pol Pot discussed this Monsieur matter regarding the organization of the cooperative. Lorsqu'il a parlé de l'organisation des coopératives. And was Pol Pot providing uh, the cadres who were at this meeting Et instructions to set up low-level cooperatives? Was that la façon the de créer des um, uh, purpose uh, of the communication as you understood it? It is l'objectif de cette présentation, comme vous l'aviez compris. Response. Response. He talked about the low-level cooperative. Uh, il a parlé Which were in the form of 10 or 20 families per each cooperative. De 10 à 20 familles chacune. Yes, my, my question is whether a Pol Pot was asking you and the other cadres question. Um, to question implement si low-level cooperatives in your region. instructions sur la façon de mettre en œuvre ce système de coopérative dans vos régions, à vous et les autres cadres qui étaient là. Response. Réponse. Yes, he gave uh, such instructions en effet, to organize the local sur la façon d'organiser de petites coopératives. Because it would be difficult to organize a large Car cooperative. Il était difficile d'organiser de créer to de grandes coopératives. C'était food supply for the cooperative. Trop difficile pour gérer les, la nourriture nécessaire. And was there any discussion or instructions at this Question. meeting about Lors communal de dining? A-t-on parlé de la cuisine collective? Bad. Response. Yes, the matter was discussed, for instance. Réponse. 
the district, yeah. the commune and the, the village the levels oui. all this kinds and agreed for the communal oh. dining. On s'est mis d'accord sur la cuisine collective au niveau du district, de la commune et du village. And when you went back to Mondulkiri after this meeting, uh, what was done uh, to implement the instruction you had received about low-level cooperatives and communal dining? Quel geste a été posé des petites coopératives et de la cuisine collective? But response. Upon my return. Réponse. To Mandolkiri. À mon retour au Mandolkiri. The chief of the sector convened a meeting again to provide further details regarding that instruction. Plus de détails sur ces instructions. Because what we learned from the meeting previously was only a principle. Car à la réunion européenne, on nous a donné more detailed information was provided by the sector regarding how many families were to be put in each cooperative. Et c'est le secteur qui a donné plus de détails, à savoir combien de familles devaient être mises dans chacune des coopératives. Who all was asked to attend this meeting that was convened by the sector chief on the issue of establishing cooperatives? À la réunion de secteur sur la création des coopératives. Response. All the district secretaries of the committee had to attend that meeting. All the district secretaries had to participate in the meeting of the sector. And what instruction did you receive at that meeting as to the number of families had to put in each cooperative? Sur le nombre de familles à organiser en coopérative. Réponse. The instruction was clearly given, as I stated earlier, regarding how many members people were to be put in each cooperative. Because if the number is too large, it's going to be difficult to supply. Trop grande était difficile à provisionner en matière de nourriture. And if people were to live close to each other, then such a group shall be formed for that cooperative. Et si des gens habitaient les uns proches des autres, on pouvait ainsi en former une coopérative. Let me ask you this, my colleague. You told my colleague that prior to April 1975, there had been groups. I believe you called them solidarity groups or solidarity groups that had been established. How were the groups that had been established prior to April 1975 different than the lower level cooperatives that were implemented after your meeting in Phnom Penh? But response. Response. Prior to 1975, the consolidarity groups were formed. It was a kind of a mutual assistance group to assist each other in rice farming. Une sorte de groupe d'assistance mutuelle à des fins de riziculture. And how how were Lower level cooperatives different than those mutual assistance groups. What was different about cooperatives? But it was different. The mutual assistance group was mainly focused on the work. D'assistance mutuelle, but the eating was separate. Axé sur le travail uniquement, alors que les gens mangeaient individuellement. Dans la coopérative, il y avait les repas collectifs. Who, who was it that decided the rations of food that were allocated to each cooperative? Qui décidait du rationnement ou de la quantité de nourriture que recevait chaque coopérative. 
response. Reports. In each cooperative, there was a committee which was formed Chacune for the distribution of a ration. Un comité qui était créé pour la distribution food, meat, des, for example, de la nourriture, <coughs> la viande. Were there any instructions provided either from the sector level Question. or uh, higher levels than that uh, as to the amount of food rations that could be provided to each person? À donner à chaque individu. The instruction was from the sector through the district venait du secteur au district et du district à la coopérative. You told us yesterday that there were 3,000 citizens Question. who lived in your district, que uh, Pichenda district. Dans votre district uh, how many Pichenda. people in total uh, lived in Mondulkiri province uh, as province of April 1975? En avril 1975. Je ne connais pas le chiffre pour les provinces. Je ne connaissais que la population de mon district, mais pas celui des autres. Let me turn now to uh, the question of uh, the subject of currency, question. the prohibition on currency and the closing of markets, de la des marchés, uh, two de other subjects de monnaie, uh, that you had indicated were discussed uh, at the uh, three-day meeting you attended in Phnom Penh. Que, uh, vous, can you tell us dire, in more de detail what uh, Noon Chea or Pol Pot plus de said at that meeting about uh, the prohibition on currency à propos and de the closing de la of markets? Et la fermeture des marchés. As I stated already, Comme je déjà dit, that was the announcement. And later on, they declared that the people would be brought back dit. into the city and the money would be put là, back into circulation. Plus tard, les gens et que l'on rétablirait la monnaie. What did they say about the reason Question. for closing the markets quand il, and quand prohibiting the use motif. of currency? de fermeture des marchés et d'interdiction de la monnaie. Réponse. I did not understand the reason as that was the Je ne comprenais pas les motifs. Cela était du ressort de l'échange supérieur. Je ne peux vous dire que ce que je savais à l'époque. And do you recall, was there Question. any discussion about the elimination of Entend private property? Aussi parler de l'élimination de la propriété privée. Response. Yes, Réponse. that matter was discussed. Oui. Private belongings or properties Les biens, shall be put la propriété privée. communally. Devait être mis and as service for the cattle, the cattle shall be put bétail, communally for aussi être common bien use commun within the cooperative. La cooperative. And uh, when you returned uh, to Mandalcuri um, after this meeting, à votre retour au uh, what was done après cette réunion, uh, to close the markets and to uh, uh, remove a currency uh, from the province. Abolir la monnaie dans la province. But at that Response. Response. I did not know because 
There had Je been no pas. market in their area even before the liberation. Même avant la libération, il n'y avait pas de marché dans la région. Yes, money was circulated before 1970. Des, des billets, en fait, fait de la monnaie avant 1970, il n'y avait plus de marché en raison des bombardements so aériens. Et les gens se sont enfuis, certains se sont cachés dans la forêt. Quand uh, les marchés ont cessé de fonctionner euh, au Mandulkiri, pouvez-vous nous dire en quelle année Response. Réponse. It stopped operating since Les marchands cessé de fonctionner before the liberation. Avant There was la no market, libération, no exchange il n'y avait pas goods, de marché, d'échange, de biens, même dans les uh, chefs-lieux de province. Well. Et cela the aussi valait pour les zones rurales. Et c'était surtout en the raison des bombardements aériens. Four or five times per day. Il y avait des bombardements parfois quatre ou cinq fois par jour. To, to the best of your recollection, can Question. you tell us which years or what time period uh, oui, these bombings took une place? Idée de la période de ces bombardements. Response. Réponse. It started from 1970. Cela a commencé en 1970. That was the date of the liberation of Mandulkiri. And the le jour de la libération du Mandulkiri. Continued until 1975. Et les bombardements ont continué jusqu'en 1975. C'était presque des bombardements quotidiens pendant cette période. And on the question of currency, uh, after the instruction had been monnaie, provided uh, at the meeting in Phnom Penh that currency was prohibited, uh, was any effort made in Mandulkiri to collect currency notes from the people? A-t-on fait des efforts en Mandulkiri pour récupérer auprès des habitants les, les billets qu'ils avaient en leur possession? Response. Réponse. No, it was not non. collected. Il n'y a so pas eu de collecte. Certains, certaines personnes ont gardé leurs billets. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, Le procureur. Let me return Merci, to the question of the Vietnamese. Non, maintenant, uh, for en revenir au sujet uh, des Vietnamiens. Um, we talked already a little bit about um, uh, the uh, instruction uh, that had been uh, one of the issues that had been discussed uh, regarding the evacuation of Vietnamese. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, did Noon Chea or Pol Pot uh, give any explanation uh, during this meeting as to the reason that the party wanted to evacuate pour expliquer Vietnamese people from the country. Qui le parti à les Vietnamiens du pays. Response. Réponse. I did not understand that, that matter clearly. Je n'avais pas bien compris pourquoi. Here. That was Je vous l'ai dit honnêtement. C'était so du ressort de l'échelon supérieur. Je n'avais pas tout compris. Prior to the uh, um, meeting in Phnom Penh, uh, were there any Vietnamese nationals or persons of Vietnamese ethnicity who were living in Mandukiri province? Response. No. Réponse. There wasn't any no. Vietnamese living Il n'y avait pas de Vietnamiens au Mandukiri à l'époque.
And was there any discussion at this meeting in Phnom Penh, de la Réunion, Phnom Penh. about dispatching troops to the Vietnamese border? Des soldats à la frontière vietnamienne. Response. Réponse. I did not understand uh, that matter because that was a matter of, cette question. of the upper C'était du ressort de l'échelon supérieur. Was there a period of time uh, when a military division uh, was assigned uh, to division uh, the Monokiri area? A-t-elle été envoyée à la région du Mandolkiri pendant une période? Response. Yes, Réponse. there was. En effet, oui. One military division was dispatched to Une station division in Mondulkiri province. A été envoyé à la province du Mondulkiri. And which division was that? Question. De quelle division s'agissait-il? Response. Réponse. That was Division 920. C'était la Division 920. And when was it that Division 920 Question. was dispatched Et à quel moment, là, uh, to uh, and stationed in Mondulkiri? Et au Mondulkiri? It was in late 1975. Uh, where in Mondulkiri was uh, the division based? Uh, were the soldiers um, stationed throughout the province or were they concentrated in certain areas? Dans la province, ou y avait-il une concentration, euh, un endroit précis? Response. Réponse. The division was based in Kohnye district. Et la division était en garnison euh, au district de Kohnye. And the deployment. Of the regiment was uh, in various locations, des régiments ont été déployés un peu partout, Pekinda, y compris Pechanda, Saipok, etc. Were the uh, soldiers concentrated on the border regions, or were they spread throughout Les the province? Les soldats étaient-ils surtout le long de la frontière ou était-il un peu partout dans la région Response. Réponse. The deployment was district based. For example, one deployment la base de district, at par Pekinda, exemple, one is at Pekinda, Sraipo, and another Sraipo, deployment was un at Orang district. Orang. The district de Orang. How many uh, Division 920 soldiers were stationed in your district? Soldats de la Division 920 ont été postés à votre district de Pechenda. Call it, and I did not know actually Réponse. how many soldiers were stationed in my district because there was the a decision of the upper echelon. Une décision de l'échelon supérieur. You uh, testified a few moments ago that the division office Question. was in Vous avez Connect dit District. Ce matin. Um, where was it located in relation to the sector office? Était à Connect. Où était-il par rapport au bureau de secteur? Mad. Réponse. Response. The the distance from Pechenda district to Kohnye district is. One day travel. Ça prend à peu près une journée pour se rendre du district de Pechenda à celui de Kohnye. As I 
stated earlier, the deployment of the troops tôt, was at that uh, Pekinda district les itself. Les soldats étaient dans le district de Pekinda. Uh, I think you, you may have misunderstood question. my question. Donc, peut-être avez-vous mal compris ma question. You correctly, si j'ai bien um, compris ce que vous aviez dit, the, uh, headquarters of the division, le quartier général de la uh, division, was that located in Pech Chinda district, Lui était-il or was that dans le in district de Connect district? Où était-il dans le district de Konye? Response. It Réponse. was at uh, Konye district. Le quartier général était dans le district de Konye. Konye district was actually the office Ce of the division, the military division, était, where they had their main base there. C'est là qu'il y avait le bureau de militaire, c'est là qu'ils avaient leur base principale. So my, my question was, um, je voulais savoir, uh, where, how close or how far si was the division office in Connect District le de uh, la from the sector de, office dans le district that de you Connect. have described for us earlier today? Were they close Et to each other? Si ce bureau était loin du bureau de secteur à Cogne, était-il très éloigné les uns des autres? Bad. Response. Réponse. Yes. It was about oui. 200 meters away from the C'est sector office. Le bureau de la division était à peu près à 200 mètres du bureau du secteur. Did the uh, leaders of uh, the sector and the leaders of Division 920 work together and coordinate on common matters uh, related to Mandulkeri, the Mandulkeri region? Travaux, uh, ce qui avait trait à la région du Mandulkeri. But response. Réponse. I could not. Perhaps that situation that was the affair of the division, and I was busy at my district. J'étais occupé dans mon district. Let me ask you then, from, with re- regard to your own district, uh, uh, did you have any district? communications or contact uh, with the? cadres from Division 920 Avec who were responsible for the soldiers located in your district, in the Pichinda district. Qui était dans votre district, celui de Pichinda. Response. Réponse. Yes. Oui. They contacted me because they came Ils from en contact avec moi. far away and they did not Ils know the geographical Ils area well. La so they came for assistance uh, from the district. Donc, and ont then we explained to them the geography of the location. Le terrain du did you have any Question. regular uh, meetings with them? Aviez-vous des réunions régulières avec uh, ces cadres? Response. Réponse. No, there was no meeting. Non, il n'y avait pas de réunion. When they came to discuss with us uh, some matters, in particular in regard to uh, geography. Nous parler de questions précises, However, meetings par exemple, des questions uh, took de place at the sector des réunions ont office lieu and au bureau the du secteur division office et au bureau there. de la division. Are you saying that there was um, meetings between uh, the sector Dites-vous and division qu'il y avait uh, des uh, offices that occurred les in du Connect de la division district? À is, is that what you're saying? Est-ce là votre témoignage? Response. Yes, the oui. district military 
usually held the meeting at the district level. As for the sector military, they would hold their meeting at the sector level. Les and commandants of course, au niveau du district avaient des réunions au niveau du district et sur le niveau du secteur, le niveau du secteur, les instructions venaient du secteur level. au district. To complete my uh, questions to you about the uh, um, the three-day meeting in Phnom Penh, um, at that meeting, um, did you hear? Was there any discussion about the importance of identifying or screening enemies who had infiltrated the ranks of the party? Was that a subject that was discussed at all? Uh, at the meeting, Ce sujet a-t-il été discuté in Penh? lors de la réunion de trois jours à Phnom Penh Réponse. Réponse. I did not hear non, je n'ai pas entendu about, uh, that subject on screening or identifying parler de l'identification des ennemis. Did you ever hear uh, the term enemies burrowing Question. from the inside? Est-ce que vous avez jamais entendu l'expression des ennemis qui creusaient de l'intérieur Réponse, no, I didn't. Réponse, non. And at the uh, three-day meeting in Phnom Penh, was there any discussion of minority peoples, uh, such as the Cham or Islamic people? Response. That I did not hear it either, because the, deci the decision would be made by those who were at the higher level. I was at the lower level, so I was not informed of that matter. Donc je n'ai pas été informé de cela. Were there any Cham people who lived in Mandulkiri province uh, in April 1975? Atmia. Respond no. Réponse. Non, il n'y en, en avait pas. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, I turn now to a new subject, um, the question about marriage during the democratic Kampuchea regime. Uh, can you describe for the chamber uh, what the party's policy on marriage was during uh, the DK regime? But Response. Response. The organization of the wedding ceremony for the uh, combatants de took de place pour les uh, in multiple couples at the time, or Il y avait plus some other times uh, they uh, may arrange the marriage. Mais one couple at a time, and in most cases, we also ask their parents whether or not uh, they approve uh, the marriage, and we also ask individual bride and groom as well whether or not they love each other. You uh, just used the word combatants. Uh, who are you referring to by combatants? Référence lorsque vous utilisez ce mot combattant. Réponse. Réponse. Combattants uh, were referred to those who were married. Les combattants, ça veut dire ceux qui étaient mariés.
Did you uh, ever attend a meeting uh, with Pol Pot in which he talked about marriages and the policy on marriages? La politique s'agissant des mariages. Respond. Réponse. No, I never attended the meeting to discuss on this matter non, with him. It was those who were at the upper uh, level who decided to arrange uh, the meeting, uh, the marriage uh, for them. And the marriage uh, may uh, be for many couples at a time or uh, for a single couple. So whenever there was a request and there was mutual consent between uh, the groom and the bride, uh, then uh, we would arrange uh, the uh, wedding for them. And again, they had to mutually agree to, uh, to get married on top of the approval by uh, respective parents. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I would like at this point to read uh, an excerpt from uh, one of the interviews of the witness, uh, which is uh, document E3 slash 384. Uh, and the site is at Khmer ERN 00345904 through 345905, English ERN 00348377 through 373, and French ERN 00354. Two three seven. If I could have permission Donc, to put that on the screen, and then I will read and ask the witness about it. Et pour la cote en de la version française, c'est zéro zéro trois cent cinquante quatre deux cent trente sept. The president, what is the title le of this document? Quel est le titre de ce document? It is one of the uh, uh, interviews of the witness. I believe his third third interview by the uh, co-investigating judges. Troisième audition. Uh, and it's document E3 slash 384. President, thank you. Uh, you may proceed. And support staff, please uh, put this document up on the screen. And Mr. Witness, uh, in one of your interviews uh, to the co-investigating judges, uh, you were asked the question, what was the policy on marriage? Question, and this is the answer you gave, quote, uh, I went to a meeting with Pol Pot, I don't Je remember when, and he said to marry them in couples. Two or three couples could be married to not make it too difficult. But in actuality, a single couple could also be married. The relatives, the persons or relatives that lived in different cooperatives or different sectors could attend, and the bride and groom had to rise to make a resolution announcing their biographies and their loyalty to one another. Do you confirm uh, today that you uh, attended a meeting at which Pol Pot uh, made these statements uh, regarding marriage? Respond. I confirm this uh, statement. Je confirme uh, cette déclaration, dit le témoin. And um, of course, Pol Pot uh, gave that uh, instruction, and then it Bien was sûr, handed Pot down to us at the sector level and district level. And we had to ask for approval from the uh, from the couples, and then we had to seek approval from their et ensuite, il parents as well. 
So we had to ask for consent uh, from the family members and parents of the uh, bride and groom. And then after that, they had to uh, commit themselves uh, to be husband and wife. Uh, where did this meeting with Pol Pot, where he uh, provided instructions on marriage, uh, where did this meeting take place? Response. As I said earlier, it was during the meeting of uh, I cannot recall it on the top of my head, but I said it earlier. Was this one of the meetings that you attended in Phnom Penh? Response. Réponse. Yes, it was uh, a meeting oui. in Phnom Penh. Une réunion à Phnom Penh. How many other people uh, were present for this meeting? Combien d'autres personnes étaient présentes lors de cette réunion? Response. I cannot Réponse. recall Je ne m'en souviens the pas. exact number of uh, people attended that meeting, exact, and I dare not réunion. ask them how many participants participated, but what I noticed was that uh, there were a large number of people. Was this one of the meetings in which there were representatives from all uh, regions, regions present? Response. Yes, participants were from all the regions across the country. Each region sent a number of representatives. They were from all regions. Les gens venaient de toutes les régions. You, you indicated in your statement that as part of the marriage, uh, the bride and groom had to rise and make a resolution announcing their biographies. Uh, what was the reason that the people getting married had to announce their biographies? Response. Response. Uh, when they were pronounced husband and wife, they had to uh, commit to one another that they would love each other for the rest of their life. What was it that they were required to say Question. about their biographies, though? What information did they have to say Quelles about their personal biographies? À de leur biographie but Response. Réponse. Before they got married, uh, they had Avant to de give marier, their biography. Ces personnes devaient donner leur biographie. And, and what type of information Question. was it that they had to provide as part of that biography? Devait être indiqué dans cette biographie? Response. It was Réponse. nothing but uh, Rien. first they had to mention their name Mais and family name as well as their relative. That was in the uh, biography. Parents. Of course, the date of birth and Lors place of birth of an individual person. Yep. 
In the meeting um, that you attended where Paul Pot I talked about uh, marriages. Uh, was there any discussion about the importance of conducting marriages and increasing the population in the country? Was that a subject that was discussed at this meeting? La taille de la population. Est-ce que ces questions ont été évoquées lors de cette réunion? Bad response. Réponse. He talked about it in general terms. He mentioned the general principle that uh, in certain locations that uh, he mentioned such things. In certain places, he mentioned such things. Can you recall receiving any instructions from Pol Pot or other leaders about the need to increase the population in the country? Response. I didn't hear about it. Except that I got uh, information about marriage uh, policy, but as for the policy to increase the population, I did not uh, hear it. But uh, it was uh, common sense that when people got married, uh, they would produce children, and population would increase. Were people who were married by Ankar? Expected to produce children. Est-ce que les gens qui étaient mariés par l'Ankar devaient avoir des enfants? Est-ce qu'on s'attendait à ce qu'ils aient des enfants? Response. Response. Naturally, when a couple c'est normal get married. Uh, one or two years later, they would bear children. Ils des enfants. Uh, of course, some people may not uh, have children for many Certains years after their marriage because uh, they are années, infertile or car ils ont so. Un de Were husbands and wives allowed to live together uh, in the same room uh, during the Democratic Kampuchea regime? Pendant le régime du Kampuchea Democratic. Response: Yes, they were allowed to live together. Response: Oui, ils avaient le droit de vivre ensemble. If they stay in any unit, and they would stay together in that unit. Si ils dans une unité, s'ils étaient dans une unité, ils pouvaient rester ensemble dans l'unité. Could people be married uh, during the democratic Kampuchea regime uh, without the approval and involvement of Ankar? Est-ce que les gens pouvaient se marier? sans l'approbation de l'ANCAR. Réponse. Réponse. Well, there must be approval from the, uh, their unit and they had to report it to the upper authority in that unit uh, before the wedding was organized. What was your understanding as to the reason that uh, the party Monsieur was involved in marriages and that vous, uh, approval had to be attained from units in order for people to get married. What was your understanding of why that was? But people response. Because when people love each other, and if they do, they had to report to their head of a unit. But most important of all, uh, the couple had to love each other, and then they reported it to uh, the 
respective leader in that Mais unit. And en then forme, after the there was an approval from the leader of the unit, uh, then the matter was brought to the parents alors, uh, and subject to the parents' approval, then the couple would si get married. Alors le couple pouvait se marier. During the time that you were the secretary of Pichenda district, how often were marriages conducted? Quelle était la fréquence? Est-ce que est-ce que vous pouvez nous nous indiquer la fréquence de l'organisation des mariages? Bad. Response. Réponse. In my capacity as the uh, secretary of uh, the district, I organize uh, the marriage only once. Je n'ai organisé qu'un seul mariage. The President, uh, it appears le that there is a problem with the uh, translation system, so can you please uh, check our officer with the translation team? Je demande donc uh, à l'huissier d'audience de vérifier au prix près de, du chef d'équipe des interprètes. Sir President, uh, le prosecutor, you may continue now. Le procureur, vous pouvez poursuivre maintenant. Uh, yes, Mr. Witness, I was I was saying that um, uh, we've been talking Monsieur primarily about the period uh, during you which during which you were the secretary de l'époque où vous étiez secrétaire du district de Pichenda. I now want to start moving towards a later part of the regime. Et j'aimerais maintenant que nous parlions d'une époque. Um, can you tell the chamber uh, whether uh, at one point uh, sector secretary Lang uh, died during the uh, democratic Capuchin regime? And I don't want you to Tell us about the details of je that now, because I'm going to come back, back to that later. So I, I simply want to ask now was, uh, did Secretary Lang uh, die at some point uh, during the democratic Kampuchea regime? Response. He died Réponse. during the democratic Cambodia period. Oui, il est mort pendant cette période du régime du Cambodia démocratique. In 1978. Il est mort en 1978. And when Lang died, uh, who was Lang asked to replace mort, him? À qui a-t-on demandé de le remplacer? But response. Réponse. I was asked to replace him On de le following the general meeting. Uh, they designated me to take his place. And this general meeting was held in mid September. And there was an election as well. And I was elected. Uh, the secretary to replace him, but I assume that office for only two months. Mais je occupé ces que pendant deux mois. I I assume that position for two months uh, from uh, October or so, and then uh, Vietnamese uh, troop uh, came in um, uh, at, at the end of that year. En effet, les troupes vietnamiennes sont arrivées à la fin de cette année-là. Hmm. I understand your testimony about your uh, when your formal appointment came, and we'll we'll come back and talk about that later. Uh, I do want to ask you though. Now you just mentioned that uh, 
in September 1978, you were elected uh, to that position. Who, who was it that elected you uh, to assume, to formally assume the position of Secretary of Sector 105? Response. Response. I did not know who elected me, but in terms of the designation, uh, uh, Pol Pot designated me to Pol take Pot the place of Lang after he died. Lang est and I assumed that official position for only two months, as I said earlier. We'll, we will talk about 1978 um, uh, in a little while. Um, but first, I want to talk about the year 1977 and the events that led up uh, to Lang's uh, death. Um, do you recall? Do you recall a person? Uh, and one of the things that I'm going to be asking you about from 1977 is what happened to some of the people who were uh, fellow district secretaries of yours and members of the sector committee uh, during that year. And I wanted to start um, by asking you about a, whether you recall a person who was named Ma Mala. Response. I do not get your question. Can you please repeat it? My question is, do you remember a person named Ma La? Response. Yes, I do. Oui. Je m'en souviens. And can you tell uh, tell us who he was, what positions he held? Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire qui il était et quelles fonctions il occupait? Bad God. Response. Response. He was my predecessor of Pechenda district. Il était mon prédécesseur à, à la tête de Pechenda. During what time period was Mala the secretary Quand of Pichinda district? district de Pichinda? He was the secretary of uh, Pichinda district. Uh, Il était Le secrétaire du district in de Pichenda, 1974. En 1974. No, to, he actually uh, took my Pardon. place because I was removed uh, to Obun Le. J'ai été envoyé à Obun Le. Okay, let, let's talk about that period just for, for a moment here. Uh, Parlons de cela uh, un tout petit peu plus en what détail. What was it that you were assigned to do in Orbuon Lu in 1974? Response. I was assigned to uh, that place because uh, they relocated uh, people from the uh, mountainous uh, areas. Des and uh, the former official over there did not speak uh, Pnong, uh, so I spoke Pnong at that Pnong. time, so I Moi was assigned uh, to uh, lead Donc, uh, that community. I could uh, communicate with them in Pnong, so they appointed me to Cognier Donc, district. I believe yesterday that you testified um, that in 19, 
that 1974 was the year that you held a position on the Foreign Relations Committee for Sector 105, and that 1975 was the year you held a position as a sector member responsible for health. Um, were you performing either of those assignments um, when you were uh, reassigned to uh, Connect District in 1974? Response. I was transferred uh, through that location. As I stated earlier, in order to work with those people coming down from the mountainous area, as the former officers there could not speak the tribal language, car les personnes ne parlaient pas cette langue de cette tribu. So those people at the Cognac district, I mean the administrative people, did not speak the language. Though they spoke Cognier, uh, Tompu and other Pnon, languages, pas le Tompu non plus. and of course I knew Pnong language, Moi, je and I Pnon. could communicate with the je people from the mountainous area, and I was assigned to work with them, Et donc, pourquoi on as they could not speak my language clearly. Pas bien le okay, thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. Um, Merci, when was it that you resumed your position as Peach Chanda District Secretary? En tant que secrétaire de Peach Chanda. De Peach Chanda. Response. Réponse. I had held that position since 1971. J'ai détenu la position depuis 1971. I said earlier. Comme je l'ai dit plus tôt. Unless I misunderstood you, you indicated that Mala assumed that position for a period of time while when you had been transferred to Orban Lu. So my question is, when did you return from Orban Lu and resume being secretary of Pichinda? When did you return from Orban Lu and have you resumed your position as secretary of Pichinda? Response. Yes, uh, that was correct. Oui, c'est exact. Initially, I was relocated or transferred début, to work with the people from the mountainous area, and then Mala Puis, went to Pechanda district. Et Mala uh, s'est occupé du district de Pechanda. But because Mala could not speak Mais the tribal Mala language, la langue des I was then sent back to Pechanda district. Envoyé au district de Pechanda. And do you remember when, in relation to the 17th of April 1975, you went back to Pichinda District? When, when did that happen? Response. In 1974, I was transferred, en 1974, and in 1975, Phnom Penh was liberated. People from the mountainous area were relocated to Cognac District, en fait, although that area was still known as part de of the Pechenda District. Mais qui était à l'époque encore connu comme faisant partie du district de Pechenda. I went to manage them in 1975. I mean to manage those people coming down from the mountainous area. What happened to Mala when you returned and resumed your position as secretary of Pichinda district? Response. I could not uh, grasp this matter that non, because it was the matter of the upper decision. Because I myself was uh, reassigned then assigned to back, and then reassigned again, réaffecté, so it was uh, rather confusing. Suite, donc un peu confus. I only had to follow the instructions Je that I was given les instructions for the reassignment, that's all. Et mm. Did Mala disappear Question. in 1977? Mala 
but Réponse. Response, yes. Oui. He was called by the sector. Il a été appelé and par I le did secteur. not know where he went. Et je ne sais pas où il était. I only knew that he was attacked through the sector. Je savais that simplement qu'il avait été envoyé au secteur. Where was he working at the time he was called Question. by the sector and où disappeared? Où travaillait-il quand il a été appelé par le secteur et a par la suite disparu? Response. Réponse. I didn't know as well. Je ne savais pas. I didn't know where he had worked before Je he was pas called. Où il avant I appelé. only focused on the affairs within my Je district. Des affaires, euh, de mon district. What, was he a member of your district committee? Question. Était-il membre de votre comité de district? Response. Yes, he was within the same district Réponse. committee. Oui, il était sur le même and comité later district. on, he was assigned to the Par la suite, district secretary. Il a été affecté par le secrétaire de district. Did Mala used to reside in Hanoi? Est-ce que Mala a habité auparavant à Hanoi? But, but response. Yes, oui. he studied in Hanoi. Il a étudié à Hanoi. And do you know the reason why he was called Question. by the sector, called by the sector and disappeared in 1977? Response. I did not know the reason. Réponse. Because I contemplated only on the work je within my district. Je ne connaissais pas de raison. Moi, je m'occupais du travail de district. I did not know district. about the removal of any je person. Je ne savais rien du fait que l'on retirait des gens. Can you tell us whether there was a period of time uh, when si cadres who had connections uh, to Vietnam uh, were purged by the party. Avec le Vietnam, on fait l'objet de purge par le parti. Response. Réponse. Now I did not know anything non. whether Je ne savais there was a purge or not. My only purge. focus, as I said earlier, was the works within my district. Je and ne I did not know about the affairs of the district upper district and I didn't know anything about the affairs of the upper superior. You mentioned yesterday Question. a person named May, Vous avez parlé who was someone that you uh, went with uh, on one of your trips to Camp on uh, Tom. And you told us yesterday uh, that May uh, was a member of the Sector uh, 105 Committee. Uh, did May disappear in 1977? Est-ce que May a disparu en 1977? Response. Réponse. May disappeared around 1977 as well, but I did not know the reason for his disappearance. Do you recall uh, the exact uh, time period in 1977 uh, when May disappeared? Vous vous souvenez-vous de la date, no, en 1977, à laquelle il a disparu Réponse, non. Je ne me souviens pas de la date exacte. Comme je l'ai dit, cela était du ressort des affaires du secteur. Je m'occupais, moi, des affaires de mon district. That the situation in my district was peaceful and that the people in my district hate enough to eat. Dans mon district, je voulais qu'il y ait euh, la paix et que les gens aient assez à manger. Le président. 
Merci, M. Tour. Merci au procureur. We will have a 20 nous allons minute prendre une pause de 20 minutes. Et nous reprendrons le débat à 4 heures. Nous allons continuer notre procédure. Court officer, could you assist the witness during the break as well as the duty counsel and have them back in the courtroom at 3 p.m.